Good morning, friends. Today is uh, July 31st, Saturday. I am at the base of Mount Temple. I wish I can show you where the Mount Temple is, but it's morning about 5.40. There are plenty of people here, you can see. Most of these people are here to watch the beautiful sunrise. And this is Deepika. Good morning. Good Sorry, morning. I'm putting too much light on you. That's okay. So, our intention is not to do the summit, but just to see how much we can do today and enjoy our day to the fullest. I wish Deepika all the best for today. She's gonna do very, very well. I just feel it. So wish us luck, guys. One more time, Deepika, have a fantastic day. Thank you. Hello friends, so this was our break number one. We did about 500 meters in two hours plus. Very, very beautiful place. Look, this is the lake. That's where we took the plate. And right there is the Sentinel Pass. That's where we are gonna go to. It's about 250 meters to go. And that is the majestic Mount Temple. I will also show you the Valley of Ten Peaks. You see all these peaks around us? There are very, very few people today here. We didn't see much and super peaceful environment. I'm quite happy to be here. Deepika has already walked up to that side. You can see her walking. We are just trying to keep up our pace to see if we can cover enough of the mountain in reasonable time. I'll show you more. Thank you so much. Bye. Hello friends. So this is our break number two. We are at the Sentinel Pass, but I'm starting from this beautiful sunrise. It's about 9.15, but the sun is so brilliant. Look at this. I just want to keep it like this for some time. Unbelievable. And then I also wanted to show you the route. So this is the route we are going to take to go up. And that's where our next break would be, which is about 1000 meters in elevation gain. So about 250 meters from where we are. And now let's see where we are. This is Deepika getting ready with her helmet and everything. But we are at the Sentinel Pass. So that's Paradise Valley. And this is Valley of Ten Peaks. Large valley also. So very, very nice day and time. And So friends, this is Deepika getting ready. This is her first time, first time wearing the helmet. I just want to ask her, how are you Deepika? Uh, okay, I should say in the nicer words. Yeah, of course. I'm a bit nervous. You can say you're shitting in pants, that's also fine, but. <laughs> I'm very, very, very nervous. Okay. How do you like wearing the helmet for the first time in your hiking life? If it is just wearing and wearing a helmet, I'm good. Okay. But I know it's <laughs> what is it for? Yeah, but... it is for your safety, so you should feel happy. Okay. Yeah. I'll try to feel happy. Okay. Stay happy and enjoy the hike. Yeah. Hello friends, so this is our break number three, <clears throat> about 965 meters in elevation gain. Look where we are coming from. And this is the view. 
and this is a very challenging trail and I'm sure Deepika is so brave and she did very very well oh but I have a question for her she is sitting right here you look like a miner you know miner miners who work in the oh, mines I thought Miner as miner, as you wish, right? I wish. Okay. <laughs> of course, when you are close You do look like to... a miner too. No, when you're close to... So, tell me, like, uh, there was a section in the gully when uh, we were coming up. We slipped and the entire rocky section started to slide down with us. How did you feel? Very, very, very scared. I thought, okay that's gonna to take me down completely okay and then we have to find another route to come up mm. and okay. I, I could probably because my one leg was down and the other one was up mm -hmm. and I thought, okay that's how the full split probably feel like <laughs> <laughs> okay. but it wasn't uh, but you you managed it so well mm -hmm. you got up and then you gave me a step and it was very interesting <laughs> you have a word for that um, i wish i never get into that situation again how did we get into that situation? Because you asked me to move and I didn't move. Don't go big. Okay. Bigish. I'm watching, but... Okay. Yeah. What were you saying? Why do you want me to repeat that? You asked me to move and I didn't move. Oh, okay. That's it? And then the scree underneath us start moving. Okay. All right, but... I'm very happy that we made it to 965 meters so far and this is the view on the other side. Look at this. Beauty all around. Alright guys, we are going to go for another break and let's see how much we do it uh, until the next break. Thank you. Bye. Good morning friends. So this is our break number four and this is how the view is from our break number four. We have done about 1097 meters, you can say 1100 meters. We are right on the trail marker. There is another mark up there. And we have to go through this crux. Deepika will show us. And at the top there is another ribbon, that's our destination. I'll try to capture Deepika's scrambling in this mm -hmm. section. Yes, actually what Deepika will do is she will show us how to go up and come down. So in the next video, watch out for all these uh, amazing moves. So thank you friends for your blessings and wishes. Talk to you again. All right, friends, so Deepika is ready to handle this section and the plan is that she will go up there and then she will just come down to show me how to go up and down. So I have no problem in finishing this section up. So Deepika, it's all yours. I'm going to capture this in video and we will try not to have too much conversation. I'll let you attempt this section your way. Will you help me? Will of you course, help me? whenever you ask. Only one thing is don't try to finish it, just enjoy it. I mean, don't rush. So friends, I'm not gonna talk too much. I'll just let you watch what's going on here. That's a too long step, Kirish. Take your time.
Oh, too long. Okay, so break it down. There is nothing to break it down here. Okay, stop the video. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video guys for a moment. All right, friends, Deepika is going to try again this section. After having some conversation, let's see how it goes. Deepika, it's all yours. <sighs> Silent feet is the only way to do scrambling. Yeah, I can give you a push. Because my hand couldn't go that far. There could be many reasons why we couldn't do something. Okay, I'm going to give you a push when you count to three. Count to three, One, Bolo. Two. <laughs> okay. Take a breather. Or no rush. Show me that you are in no rush. Okay. Find out your next moves before you start. At least three in the direction you need to go. Silent feet, silent feet. Yes, like that. Perfect. Did you find your next three moves? Have you found your next three moves? Yes. No use of knees, please. Take your time. No thumping slowly good job take a breather deep breathing silent feet find your three moves first Very, very long step, but that's okay. Not using a knee? Okay. You can if uh, you need to save your life. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen somebody lying down completely. Great job, Deepika. Congratulations. Stand up safely, slowly, 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 slowly. Yep. Yay, you made it. You made it. Now, you have to show us how to come down. Take your time. You can face in or face out. Recommendation is you face in. Take a breather. Yep, you can come from this side too. So be very, very careful. You are facing in and you are taking, you took very, very long step to get up. I'll do the same thing coming down. Face out for, until I come to that platform. Is it not easy to turn in, but let's try.
Sit down if you have to. Yeah, I'm gonna just sit down. Okay, remember your bag is gonna hold you as well in the back. Yeah. So. Look at the confidence Deepika has. Suddenly, it feels like she is a new Deepika. She is so focused on her moves. Silent feet though. Nice. Yep. Oh, she is looking where she's gonna go down to, but let's not look there. Let's see how she is turning. Yep. Can you help me? Yeah, I'm here. Nope. Go back, please. Go back. Bring your left foot forward and start to face in. So when you bring your left foot forward, make it all the way in so you can completely face in. Yes. Left foot forward here. Take your time all the way facing. Yep, there you go. Keep facing in. All the way facing. Or now you can come down one step. Log step, but you can come down. You can. Sure, I will stop the video. So now Deepika is gonna attempt. Continuing. Okay, Deepika. Focus. Put your right hand where we talked. Yes, now it's all good. You can put left hand there where we sat. It's not coming to you. It will come. That is the easiest way. You just have to connect with it. Take a breather. It's all very slippery. Yep, but don't look at anything else, but just come down where you were to. Put your right hand or left hand where I ask you to, and you will just suddenly feel everything connecting. Your left foot needs to come down. Yep, perfect. You have no hesitation, I can see it. Start bringing yourself down. Yep, start, start, start. Yes, now don't stop, keep coming. There you go. All done. All done. I'm so proud of you. Wait, but before you start, you know what to do next after that? So I would not put your left foot there. I will put your left foot a little bit below. You can see the step below that. Hmm? Yes. And then right will come all the way down. Start. Yes, yes, perfect. Yes. Good job. Now bring your right foot all the way down slowly, slowly. And bring your right hand also down where your foot was. Right hand down. Yes. Now where do where does it go? Left one, breather. You know where the left foot, okay. Should I show you or you can feel it? You remember? Your left foot. Okay, I'll, I'll, nope, 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 nope. This will go, if you keep going down. Okay, show me. Here. You saw it? Yeah. See it? Yeah. Okay. So do it. Further down, further down. No, nope, no, nope, too much down. Yes. Perfect. Now, when you are ready for the dynamic move, just put your right. Okay, I'll give you a step. Just put on here. Yep, that's yes. it. It's okay. Moving. It won't move. Just come down, please. Bring your left foot down whenever you have a moment. Ready? Yep. Yep, got it. Now lift your right foot. 
left your right foot <coughs> okay you have to lift <laughs> there congratulations if you turn i want to mention something to you what you just did is this section for which temple is known for this is the scrambling section famous scrambling section so why didn't we go up and there? we will go up i wanted to see if you can go up and come down so you did it so now we can go up if you like to do you want to go up or go down now go up okay start again good job overall i'm so so happy you showed me all the moves so it's easy for me to do it thank you Hello friends, so this is our break number five, about 1,180 meters. And this is actually the summit for us, right here. So I'm very, very thankful to Mount Temple. Deepika for sure, for allowing me to be here. This is an amazing place. Well, if anybody wants to attempt doing the direct, I mean, actual summit that's just up there hopefully i'll have the opportunity to do the summit and i'm just showing you the view at about 1200 meters so our plan is to start descending we have spent about nine hours 30 minutes and i expect we'll take about nine hours to go down because we are in no rush um, i always like to enjoy my time and this is Deepika. hey Deepika. so this is our summit on mount temple how are you feeling um i'm feeling good okay all right there were sections where i was very nervous but I don't know, maybe it's temple. You know? mm -hmm. Temple is where we get all the blessings mm -hmm. and where we got all our wishes come true. And yeah. the, I'm, I'm not feeling tired. Oh, nice. I'm so, so happy to hear. So that's the good thing. Yeah. Normally on the summit, I'm like thinking, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down. I still have those thoughts, but I'm okay. Yeah, so um, I just have to ask you one more question. There was a section when you were slogging, you were finding it too, too hard to even walk. And after that section... Uh, I don't remember. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed that part. <laughs> and then after that, a section came and you just flew by so easily, even though the next section was so much harder. So why there was a such a big difference between the two sections? What changed or what was happening before and what happened after? Um, we took a break and then um, I was, like there were a lot of things that I've read about Mount Temple mm. and those things were coming mm. and I was thinking like, I don't think that's for me, like I could do it. Mm. So, but then I thought I should give a try. Mm. So I started with that thought to giving a try. Mm. But then, you know, um, I there was still the thoughts coming to me. Mm. They were still making me nervous. Mm. So I was walking with those, like as you said, an, um, ankle, ankle weights. Ankle weights. So I was walking with those ankle weights. Then I thought, oh. See, Deepika, you have to do it. You are doing it. So do it with all pleasure. Mm. With all your 100%. So at least when you go home, mm. you will not regret. Mm. And I know you, Girish. If I would say that, Girish, I can't do it. Let's return. 
you will tell me that Deepika, you did the harder set. Okay, we'll return. We are not going any further. But that section was really easy. So I didn't want it to take a chance and want to try what's coming up. Mm. And then um, that scrambling section where you said that the temple is known for that scrambling section. Mm. It, it was harder, but you showed me all the footholds and you actually um, helped me to climb that and coming down. Well, I'm so very happy that you enjoyed Mount Temple and we both had the opportunity to come to Mount Temple. I wish you all the best to have safe hikes in your life Thank and you. enjoy mountains as much as you like to. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to go down now. Hey friends, so we just finished. Uh, where is Mount Temple? This way behind. We couldn't do the summit. In fact, we did 1200 meters and we are quite happy. This is a super long day for me. And this is Deepika who still has tons of energy. Oh, look at her oh. pose. How was it for you, Deepika? It's too many mosquitoes, but yeah. how was it for you? It was really, really good. I really enjoyed Temple Mountain. Okay, one thing that you think I should do better next time. Just one thing, please. Don't drop your bag from a height. Okay, just drop it from a little bit low. Yes. Okay. Until you can control the fall. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I hope you said that rather than anything else. So, again, I wish you a lot of good hikes and all the best with your training for Mount Randall. Thank you okay. so much. All right, bye. Hi friends, uh, before I leave for the day, I want to make an acknowledgement in this scrambling section to make it uh, easier for us. I thought to drop my bag first and of course, as soon as I dropped it, it started tumbling down and it just kept going down and down and it had my car keys, my garment, everything, survival gear. I think I'm so thankful to the Forge, to the universe and one guy called Jacob. Uh, he's the only guy who was coming up and I asked him if he can help us uh, recover our bag. He actually had spotted the bag while coming up. So finally he graciously agreed. He went down, brought our bag. So we are safe because of Jacob. So I do want to thank one more time to Jacob. And I also want to thank uh, Lori. He has always told me to be careful, not to make mistakes, but it seems um, I don't learn easily. So I again want to thank Lori, Universe, Jacob, Deepika, and all of you for your blessings and wishes. Okay, I'm gonna go home and recover myself. We'll talk again, bye-bye.